What's up guys, I'm here in Rotterdam, Netherlands. Just popped out of my room there at Citizen M Hotel and I'm heading towards the train station right now because I'm meeting like a bike and then going on an urban tour as well. And as usual, I'm late, so I gotta get moving. I've got my bike now and I'm just now heading to Urban Guides, which is gonna do a quick tour of town. Problem is though that I kind of forgot the extra batteries for this camera in the hotel room in the rush of this morning. So I'll film what I can with this and then I've got my phone, I guess, and the GoPro. I'm back at Citizen M. That was a really good morning. Good like bike tour, cycle around town with somebody that was so knowledgeable about like the architecture here in Rotterdam. And the thing you notice right away here in Rotterdam is it's not Amsterdam. And if you think you're coming to Rotterdam for Amsterdam, no, you're not. You're coming here because of the architecture and the modern architecture and that's really cool. Rotterdam in the 70s in the 70s. <laughs> My history's off. Rotterdam in 1940 was bombed really, really heavily by the Nazis. In fact, like the whole old town was destroyed. So this area that we are now is actually the old town, even though it's all really modern architecture. And it's really cool. And I think I need to do these like cycling, walking tour things more often when I get to cities, because it gives me a really cool way to location scout, but it also kind of gives you a little bit of that history and that insight into what a place is really all about. As I mentioned, I'm back here at, at the Citizen M. I'm gonna stand on my bed because it's fun. And uh, I got like vlog editing to do now. Yeah, so I'm gonna hang out here for, the, for a couple hours. The weather here is also crazy. Last night when I arrived, it was 31 degrees at like 10 p.m. How crazy is that? And I was like dripping with sweat and then this morning it was foggy and cold and rainy and windy and then just now the sun seems like it's popping up again. So hopefully we get some beautiful light around sunset. I think we found some cool locations that I'm gonna photograph around sunset. So I'm gonna jump into the work and then we'll go back out and explore this afternoon. In the meantime, this is my view. Okay, that's enough office work for one afternoon. I'm uh, now heading down to meet with the lady from the tourism board for a little dinner, and then I'm gonna go shoot some photography. It looks, looks like the light might be amazing today. So fingers crossed. And I know that every time I say that, the light goes bad, so I shouldn't have said that. But I'm gonna risk it anyway, and I'm starving, so let's get some food. We've just come for dinner now and we're at a place called the Loha Bar, which is really cool because it's in like this old building that used to be a swimming pool called the Tropicana and it's still like got everything going on here. So you've got like the water slide area down here or like the fun tube and yeah, it's really kind of strange and kind of awesome. Dinner's done, it was really good. They have like vegan night here. 
uh, every Tuesday. So we had vegan food. And it's probably good because I've been eating so unhealthy recently that it was probably smart for me to get some vegetables in me. I mentioned earlier that I was kind of gonna probably jinx myself about the light. Uh, and it doesn't look like that's the case. Right now it looks like the light's gonna pop off. Now that I've said it, I've really jinxed myself. So I'm gonna run back to the hotel, pick up my bike, and then head to my first location. I've come to location number one and the light's actually really beautiful, but it's a bit of a problem because I wanted to shoot down there, right there, but when I location scouted, those boats weren't there. And this shot from up here is a little bit of a, well, it's a little bit flat because you just got, yeah, you've got no depth to this image. So I'm gonna race down and <laughs> my bike just fell and I'm gonna find another location, hopefully under this bridge. Cause I do like the bridge. I do like the skyscrapers and the light is amazing right now. The last bit of sunset is just hitting the buildings right there. Yeah, it looks phenomenal to the eye, but it's just not a great photo. So I've got to move if I'm gonna capture this. <laughs> You guys are asking for photography tips quite often, so I'm gonna give you one right now, and I'm gonna talk about the anchor. The anchor is something I talk about a lot, and what the anchor is, is it's just the foreground element of your image. If you have a landscape, it might be a rock in the foreground or some cracked ice. In cityscapes, an anchor is also really important. If you look at this frame right here behind me, you've got these beautiful buildings, a nice looking sky, you've got the bridge, but if you were to shoot just that, it's flat. There's no dimension to it, there's no depth to it, there's no scale to it, so you need an anchor. And it's not really easy to find an anchor in places like this, so I'm creating one. I have the bike right back there in the foreground, that's the anchor. I've been sitting there, or along with the bike as well, helping to be the anchor, and it really helps the images. I'll show you those images right now and then I'm heading off to another location. Location number two is going to be the train station. So I'm at the central train station here in Rotterdam, which is behind me. Absolutely beautiful building, really photogenic as well. And I really love shooting this type of spot in the blue light. You get this nice contrast of color between like the blue of dusk and then the yellow glowing lights on the building. So absolutely loving this spot. I'm not doing anything super fancy with a camera, just like 30 second exposures at F11. I probably got 30 minutes to photograph here. So I'm gonna race around now taking pictures. <laughs> I'm back home now with the stuck in the wall. I'm back home now at the Citizen M and after I think I just destroyed the room, I might never be welcome back here again. Um, today was a really good day in Rotterdam. I think it's such a cool city. It's not like the anti-Amsterdam because that makes it sound like Amsterdam sucks or Rotterdam sucks. They're just very different. They're so different. Amsterdam's kind of old fashioned and kind of like the canals and then Rotterdam's like new and vibrant and 
has this modern architecture and they're just completely different cities. You cannot compare the two. And it was absolutely fantastic today. Love the architecture in the city and can't wait to shoot it properly tomorrow. Today was kind of a bit of a location scouting day and tomorrow it's gonna to be like full on. I'm gonna get up at like 4.30 in the morning and start shooting and I'm probably just gonna shoot the entire day and it should be a lot of fun. So I guess I'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode. I'm gonna do a day in the life of a travel photographer on assignment tomorrow. So that should be a lot of fun and I'll see you there. Peace.